Hello, my friends of Hadri Labs. Uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to do a simple example where we are going to do the simulation of water that has calcium and has fluorine, but is in equilibrium with gypsum and fluorine. Fluoride. Fluoride. Okay, so let's start. So we are going to open uh, in any processor, like in any word processor, we are going to start with our uh, okay great so let's see okay we are going to run Frixi on a prefer app okay and for that every scene solution is a title so it's a equilibrium 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 of a water sample with minerals okay with minerals okay so with minerals okay so this is solution one solution one okay uh, i don't know if there is a uh, the indentation is mandatory but we are going to provide the indentation here the units will be ppm units ppm and then the calcium will have 10 milligrams per liter while the fluorine Fluorine. Fluorine will be 5.5, 5.5. Okay. okay, then on the equilibrium phases, equilibrium phases, one, and then this will be in equilibrium with fluoride, blue, all right. And the target uh, saturation will be zero, and there is no fluoride in the model. In the model, so that is why uh, the fluoride will be created from the compounds. Okay, it will be created from the elements. Okay, and deposited. Okay, and then there comes the gypsum. Gypsum. Okay, and it has the target saturation of zero. Okay, however. Uh, there is 10 moles of gypsum on the system, okay? And uh, let's see if this the gypsum will be dissolved or the gypsum will be diluted, okay? However, zero and 10 are the default values, okay? For that, we, and in this case, we are only to provide gypsum, okay? That means that the target, the target uh, saturation is zero and the total amount of moles uh, is 10. Okay, and then we end this. Okay, we save that, and then we save that, save that, and then we save as a mineral equilibrio dot in. Okay, that is how we save mineral equilibrio in water. Okay, okay, so that is how we save. Okay, mineral. Okay. In order to be in Aquifer app, all the files need to have the uh, .in extension, okay? Otherwise, it won't be uh, interpreted, okay? So let's see. Let's open that. I will delete all the history. Okay, so let's go to aquifer.hatarilabs.com. Okay, so here we log in with our Qatari Labs account. So this is okay. Uh, so that's it. Okay, you can create one project. Okay, so we are going to create. So this is mineral equilibrium. sample okay let's see so we go to edit remember that you can do piper plots in here and um, that you can do frixi modeling as well and then we are going to add a lot of interesting stuff so many much more things could be done in aquifer app so let's go to frixi and let's look for our file. Where is our file? It was in documents and say mineral equilibrium in water. Okay, so we upload that. This is the content of the file. 
Okay, let's define the database that will be Frixie. Select, okay, we run it. And, okay, so it has run. Okay, and then we compile that. Okay, so let's see, let's analyze. These are the raw results. Yeah, but let's see the initial solution. The solution composition is water. Okay, these are uh, mol molalities. Okay, so this is the amount of mole and are in the order of 2 10 to the minus 4. Okay, then the solution description we see that the uh, error is 26% uh, of the ionic um, error of the electrical balance. Okay, and well. And the distribution and distribution are these ones. So we see that the calcium is uh, as calcium plus two, while the fluorine is as uh, the fluorine is as a uh, fluorine ion. Okay, great. So that's it. Okay. So let's see how is with equilibrium. So on the solution composition, okay, we see that there is calcium and there is fluor. Okay. However, however, okay, however, do you remember that the uh, the original molality was in the order of 2, 10 to the minus 4? Now the fluor is in the order of 8, 10 to the minus 5. Okay, and why is that? Because some fluoride, some, some fluoride has been precipitated, has been precipitated, okay? And the calcium and the moles of calcium and the moles of sulfur has increased why because of the dissolution of gypsum okay so and how where do you see that here on raw results we go to faces okay and here on faces okay at the beginning there was no fluoride okay and at the end was 1.10 to the minus 4 moles of fluoride okay so that has been precipitated precipitated okay and at the, be at the beginning, there was 10 moles, and at the end, it was this amount of mole, 9.95. Okay, so 1.49, 10 to the minus 2 moles of gypsum has been diluted. Okay, and this is why we have more calcium. This is why we have more sulfur, and this is why we have less fluorine. Okay, let's see. Uh, on this special distribution, we see that the, for all the calcium, uh, mostly as a calcium as plus two, but there is also calcium sulfate. For the fluorine, uh, well, everything is as a fluorine ion. And from the sulfur, okay, is as a sulfate as an as a calcium sulfate. Okay, and let's see about the saturated index. So we see that the fluoride is at zero, it's at equilibrium, the gypsum is at equilibrium, and the solution is uh, undersaturated with respect to H2S as a gas and as a sulfur. Okay, so as you have seen, this is the process of simulating. The process of the simulation is really easy, yeah? It's really, really... Um, uh, we can make a lot of analysis of that. We can, and it's more user friendly as well. Okay, so we are Hattery Labs. We are a blog where we have um, courses and diplomas. For example, we have courses on Python, we have courses on Modflow, we got also courses on Frixie. And then we have diplomas in Model Muse, in Flopy, and on SWAT. Okay, so you can take our courses and, and our diplomas. And just remember that by taking our courses and, and our diplomas, you are supporting our research for the more development of these kind of apps. Okay, my name is Ormontoya. Please have a great day. I hope to see you in coming tutorials.